This started off as a very normal day for me. What had been happening was my office was shared with the technicians who were doing a study for Massimo. They had a lot of equipment in the room, almost crowding me out of my own office. But they'd been ongoing for some time. And so I asked them how things were progressing. And they said, very well. I said, is your device working? And they said, yes, we think so. I said, well, put it on my finger. And so they attached the sensor to my finger. And the reading came up at 10.6, which for a supposedly healthy man is not acceptable. So I said, that machine if it was not working. I said, that's a totally un unrealistic measurement. And so they said, well, why did you go to the regular lab and have it done in a normal way with a by them drawing blood? So they drew some blood, measured my hemoglobin, and it was just exactly the same, 10.6. So I said, oh, well, that's not good. Uh, something's going on, it's just not right in my body. And actually, my wife persuaded me to go and have a, a physical. So I had, a, first of all, a colonoscopy to rule out a cancer of the colon, and then an endoscopy. And the endoscopy sadly revealed an ulcerating carcinoma at the bottom of the esophagus, which was bleeding. I decided on having the surgery. And then depending on what the surgical findings were, I would have perhaps chemotherapy or radiotherapy or both. So I had the surgery first on the arm, and then a week later I had the surgery on the esophagus. So I guess the thrust of the story is had I not had the initial assessment and not been cynical about the result, I would very well not be here today. Because had I not picked up that cancer at an early stage, by the time symptoms occurred, it would have been further advanced. Specifically, I wouldn't have been able to swallow, etc. I'm now leading a normal life. I'm back at work. In fact, I've even been playing with golf. All this happened as a result of that initial off-the-cuff, casual remark, let's see if that thing of yours works.